Hey guys, I've got a quick video in which I want to illustrate the differences between encoding a character in binary or representing a decimal number in binary. So what you see on the screen in front of you is what's referred to as the ASCII table. ASCII characters are just very common characters that you would see on most computer or on, or on most computer keyboards. For example, we have the letters A through Z in uppercase, A through Z in lowercase. We have the numbers 0 through 9, and we have many of the symbols that you would see. In addition, we also have a series of characters that are not visible, but are used in the interaction of the computer with other systems or with other devices connected to it. So first off, I'd like to point out that encoding a character, in other words, a symbol that the human would read, is mostly an arbitrary process. Someone came along and said, OK, the first character we're going to encode is something called the null character. The second character is the start of heading. The third is start of text and so on. And at this point, when we reach, say, the 49th or 50th character, we're going to represent it with uh, a 0, a 1, a 2, so on. Then we're going to put some more symbols in, then all the letters, some more symbols, the lowercase letters, and so on. So someone came up with an arbitrary ordering of these characters that they picked out. Now, if you numbered those in order, starting with 0, because we are in uh, the IT discipline, so we do start numbering with 0 when it comes to computers. If we start numbering with 0, then it's 0, 1, 2, and so on. And in this order, by the time we get to the 0 character or the 0 symbol, we're at the 48th decimal number or the 48th item in the list. Continue down, the question mark is actually 63. An uppercase uh, letter A is 65. A lowercase is 97, and so on. So you can see that it's fairly arbitrary. We could have actually represented the lowercase characters with 65 through 90 and put the uppercase in 97 through 122. So the idea is, if you're encoding something, it's up to the author to decide what is the order of characters that I want to encode, and then numbering them in that order. Now, once you have numbered them using a decimal value that we're all familiar with, what's referred to as base 10, in other words, decimal uh, is base 10, then you can go back and look at the binary equivalent of each one of these numbers, and you'll see that that goes in order in terms of a mathematical progression. So, for example, the first number for decimal is 0, and it's represented by all zeros in binary. The next one is 1, and it's represented by 7 zeros followed by a 1. 